Welcome back to another video, everybody. So we're going to have a look at this book from 1995. It's called Dinosaur Skeletons and Other Prehistoric Animals. And it's a bit unique, obviously. I'm focusing more on the skeletons of prehistoric animals. And yeah, it's written by... Ginny Johnson and illustrated by Elizabeth Gray and Steve Kirk. It is from 1995. No copyright intended. All artwork belong to their owners. And let's have a look. And the drawings are very nice of the, of the actual um, skeletons. Like really, really nice. And yeah, it's cool. Yeah, quite a unique book. We don't get too many books in this similar style, just focusing on skeletons that are that are not actually like from the museum, like pictures of fossils or or you know um, of reconstructions of what the skeleton may have looked like. So, got a minus. So you get some information about the dinosaur or prehistoric creature, and I like always like when they show the size compared to a human. Like as a kid, I used to love looking at the scale of of the dinosaurs compared to a human. And what's cool, it does open up as well. So here we've got Camarasaurus. I don't think I'm going to fit it all in the one page. But anyway, you get the idea. Nice and big. And since we've got it open, we'll go to the next sauropod. Which is the Podocus. So this, um, so this book, I did see it a few years ago from an op shop, but I didn't buy it because it was completely ruined. It was really, really ruined. So it was actually nice to find the one in good condition. So I'm going it on. And obviously, you know, this being 1995, everything is going to be not accurate to today's standards but it's always good to go back and appreciate how things were back then how you know the scientists and so forth and the paleotists for how these creatures may have looked another thing that's a bit unique as well Oguanadunga like a big two page spread out you'd think they would have put T-Rex here instead but i guess they put inguanodon here as it was like was it the first dinosaur that was ever named or discovered guanodon or megalosaurus one of those and what's nice about the book as well like the, the drawings are amazing like i could imagine it would have been really difficult to draw all these individual you know bits of bone and then you get like an actual picture of the um, the dinosaur itself, Stegosaurus. And as a kid growing up, I was always more into you know the actual pictures of the dinosaurs or or the animals instead of just always seeing pictures of bones. So. So you get a bit of both here, yeah. obviously it's more focused onto the bone side of things. And there's some information as well. So we go to the Ixiosaurus. We've got a live birth there, so it's good because that's when um, they found the fossil, that, that famous fossil where the baby was stuck, like during birth. There are some amazing 
fossils out there. Chrysalis. A little bit of a timeline. And I do like the back, the black paper. I reckon that's really nice. And um, the other thing I really like about this book, which I thought was pretty cool, is how it actually says dinosaur skeletons and it's actually in bone. So I thought that was pretty, pretty clever. So yeah, a little bit different this book. I do like it. Um, it's presented pretty well. Um, please comment. Like, as I always say, if you've um, read it, owned it, and I'll see you all next time.